the green going away from him. But this tree branch is worrying about it, whether he can hit it up in the air, he might hit that branch. It forced him to go a little lower than he wanted, trying to land it in the fringe, so. Yeah, I don't like to play at all. I think in, in that instance, you're, you're trying to be too perfect. And you're lucky to went through the rough and on the green. You take it 30, you know, 20 feet left, the flag, take your five because it was such a poor second shot and just get to the ne next group, uh, next hole and regroup. Up at 15, Wee Kim getting ready for his second. Pulled his tee shot into the bunker. Got actually a bad kick to get into this bunker. Yeah. So, uh... 19. 119. Back. Back. Yeah. That wind's just left to right, not hurting. Problem, the, the problem he's got here is the, uh... Uh, it's in a rake mark, so it's like the, there's a, a clump of sand that's kind of from a rake that's up against the ball. And fairway bunkers, you have to catch it clean, especially he has only 109 yards. So this is a this is a sand wedge. And lip going this way, where he's got to hit it over this way, so he'll get it up very quickly. Oh. And caught it heavy. That's what you expect out of that lie. Yeah, he paid the penalty for hitting a you know poor layup shot off the tee. That's what's so great about this design. Even though 380 giving him fits. Matthew Goggin, his fourth at 14. Well, we said he was dead at the 11th. And this is just about as bad. He chipped that one in. And this one's going to wander by a good 8, 10 feet. Aaron Watkins at the 16th. He did nine under, back of the green. Oh! He was trying to make a lot of friends up there, left of the, the green. A little early on the fist pump. Oh, I'll give it to him. Fifth year on this tour, played a couple of years on the web, uh, on the PGA Tour. Second player from Kansas State to play on the PGA Tour. First was Jim Colt. I'm going to guess that Robert Streb was the third. Add, add, add the real Streber in there. The real Streber. Now Curl. Yeah, I can see it like between the flags. Right at the end. Yeah, it's just really good. Yeah, it's out between the flags. Well, as you heard, this putt's going to break quite a bit to the left. A very difficult putt to make. He's going to play a considerable amount of break. So I think that was a mistake with that third shot. Jason Gore left rough at the 18th. Very poor angle to that whole location. This one you would expect from Jason Long and a little to the right. Or else just take it straight at it. Excellent <laughs> shot. So much confidence with the iron game. Jason has played 19 rounds of golf out here on the web.com tour. 16 of them are at par or better. So it's been a phenomenal year. Now Goggin to save his par at 14. What a nice five. I don't know if you put it in the box for the 11th hole or the 14th, though. <laughs> well, how about the, the two saves? Better than save at the 11th and here. He's making up a lot of shots where he's hitting it. Coming very stressful today, late on a Saturday. We Kim out of the bunker. Yeah, no chance to hit it there. The ball kind of sitting half down. No way to get it really close. Going to have to rely on the putter. Getting some bad breaks on this hole. Really uh, poor shot, but a couple of poor lies in the bunker doesn't help it any. Now Curl trying to match the par at 14. Maybe just a little inexperienced in some of these shots that he's hit and missing it in the wrong place and rolling this first putt well by to here. This is a tough putt now for par. Handles it nicely, though. It's putting a little too much stress on him. Yeah, we talked about it. This is yeah, his wow. 86th start on the web.com tour. He's only had great, best great finish as a second <laughs> at Winn-Dixie three, yeah, you know, four years ago. 
pretty talented kid though, but is making some mental mistakes. Wee Kim is still away at the 15th. He's an interesting story. If you haven't heard, he taught himself how to play the game by watching videos of Tiger Woods on YouTube. He's never had an instructor. Yeah, read his book, never had an instructor. And he, he, it's an elegant golf swing. You know, just 22 years old, kind of burst onto the scene last year for us where he, he was second in Mexico, third in, at the Milan Classic in Pittsburgh, finished 32nd on the regular season money list. Didn't play very well in the the four finals events. Uh, Craig, the, the thing I like uh, about his game is it, probably one of the things that uh, the way he hits his driver, it is full out, 110% <laughs> every single time. There is no drawing back, and, and I think sometimes that can be a benefit when it's clicking, but this week he has not driven the ball that well. He's relied on this club right here, and he's going to have to rely on it one more time. Um, but he'll hit some drives way offline, and he's actually gotten some good breaks out of the trees to to make s some saves. But I think when it's clicking and everything's going with that driver, it's a huge benefit to him. Yeah, this is not the golf course, you know, that you need to go <laughs> flat out with a driver. Uh, you know, Kindaloo Forest in Valdosta at 7,700 might be a little better suited. Yeah, he has. He's missed 16 fairways this week out of 40 attempts. And, and, yeah, and they're I, way offline, Craig. Yeah. That's, the, that's the issue. All right, got a chance for his par to save his par, though. Yeah, this is, I mean, he doesn't have to really worry about the speed. About 18 feet, it's going to go a little to his left. Yes, sir. Yeah. What a four. Never looked like making any of that four. That's how you save around the golf. Yeah, what? Scrambling par after scrambling par in these final two groups here on Saturday at the Web.com Tours Cleveland Open. Wee Kim remains one shot back. Jason Gore, this for birdie at the 18th, trying to get within one of the lead. Yeah, got a little ridge here that will certainly speed this putt up once it crests over it. A couple of weak effort, efforts on the last couple of holes, but he's crawled his way back within two of the lead. Back to the tee at the 16th, we Kim. Uh, 158 yards downwind, a little out of the right. If he goes on to win this tournament, he needs to look no further than the last two holes in those saves, miraculous saves, to keep him right in the mix. Let's see if he can give himself a birdie look with that uh, great putting stroke he's got going. It's got a good line. Back a little bit. It's going to be a fast putt, obviously, from above this hole. Matthew Goggin on the way at 15. Laid well back. That was from 172 yards safely on the green. Yeah, but still from the fairway. Phil, we've seen some mess of this hole from guys hitting their tee shots in the rough. And I like that play from Matty, especially after the as wide as the tee shot was on the previous hole. Gore for his part at the 18th. Uh, this would be for 66. Start of the day, 11. Uh, tied for 11th now, tied for third. Remember, he is the all-time career wins leader out here with seven, and he is lurking. He would be a guy. Remember Tiger Woods in his prime? You always knew he was around. He had that sort of aura. I think Jason Gore has a little bit of that out on this tour, so certainly people will recognize where Jason Gore is. Okay. Curl is next up at 15. Well, I mean, we got we got the entire world behind us. What do I have to carry to get to the green? 53. Yeah. It's 153 carry, 161 hold. The breeze is from the left and back in. 
fell. It's only four. I went out and paced that this morning. It's only four paces from the rough to the to the flag. So he may want to carry this. The number I would be thinking was exactly what the flag is. Better hit this to carry it over that front bunker. Well, it's on a good line if it's up. Oh, I think that was the wrong club. I think that was the wrong yardage. You need to add three or four to that to take that bunker completely out of play. Hey. You were right. I was wrong. Today's coverage is brought to you by Dick's Sporting Goods. Every season starts at Dick's. The new Titleist AP Irons. Advanced performance for your game. Sixteenth green, Wee Kim, 22, is playing with the 45-year-old veteran Tom Gillis in this third round. Now, do you know the actual promotion at 16? Is it? Yes, it's it's a uh, dollar beverage. For, no, well, it's for a certain amount of time. Okay. I think for every birdie at the 16th, I think it adds three minutes to the clock. Right now, there have been 16 birdies. They're up there on the left of the green. Well, I thought it was five minutes, Craig. I well, was going to stick around if he makes this putt. Well, you can. No, you could, yeah, I think you got to keep moving. What, oh, okay. All right. We know this was quick because we we've seen a couple of players go beyond this flag and collect back down. Nearly come all the way back to the hole with their tee shots, but that ball unfortunately stayed up there. And this is one that he's going to have to hit very delicately. Yes, and and the problem with that. A lot of times when you have to hit it so soft, you kind of come up out of it and you don't put the full release on it and you'll leave it to the right. And this putt breaks ever so slightly to his right. Um, but again, just such a lovely par three. And they don't have to be 260 to be great par threes, do they, Craig? No, it's not how far, but how good. Trip, you won four times out here. Do you have a putt with on a putt? Uh, with this sort of significant amount of speed, would putt it out of the toe just to I, kind of dead it, deaden it? Absolutely, because then I, what I found I can do that was release it and hit it with my normal pace, um, and it would deaden it just enough. But this club has been red hot for now, this young man this week. Now, he has an insert in his putter, which kind of softens it anyway. If he went out on the toe, it would be back to the regular metal. So I would say he's going to putt this from the center of the putt. And he's 22. We we did that back in the day. Those guys don't do that anymore. Yeah, no, you and I don't do that anymore, Craig. <laughs> no. Going to move right late. That was an excellent putt, but you can see what, as fast as that was, that has gone three and a half, four feet past. There's no way to hit that putt dead weight. If it had it, it would have probably dropped in the right edge. That's what we want to see, though. This is kind of a, I called it an intimate U.S. Open. Last last night, we go back across the water to the 15th green, Jeff Curl. But I called it an intimate U.S. Open. And uh, when these greens firm up as with four inches of rough, this is, this is ideal, really. This is kind of our little Pinehurst. And in some ways, I think it's got to remind Jeff Curl of Colonial Country Club yep. that he played a few weeks ago also. You have to shape your tee shots, narrow tee shots, small greens. Yeah, I talked to him on the range, and he was when he arrived here, he, even before stepping on the golf course, he said, this is my favorite track. It's got that feel of Colonial, where his dad won 40 years ago, 1974. This putt slightly uphill. It ought to swing. A little to his right, the middle of the putt here as it comes off the slope from the bunker and straighten out towards the end, I would expect. And quite bold with his pace. He's leaving himself a lot of work on the way back on some of these holes. Yeah, you want to be stress-free. That's what he said he, a round of golf he played yes, yesterday. It's very stressful today. Wee Kim for par at 16. Pretty straightforward putt. Yeah. Members of the local Coast Guard 
are tending the flag at 16 today. Nice young gesture from the 22-year-old uh, native of Seoul, South Korea. Matthew Goggin for his birdie. Very similar line that he saw Jeff Curl on, and plus he had the benefit of seeing the speed, so if so he can get the right pace on this one. Oh, goodness. That one looked good for a long time, but sure he's did. got work left too, doesn't he? You know, it's getting late on a Saturday afternoon. The, 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 certainly the nerves get a little frayed. And uh, as these greens have continued to speed up, you know, we got a lot of rain on Wednesday night. They were rather soft and receptive, but uh, they've got that little major championship tint to them. And uh, you cannot be bold whatsoever. I really haven't seen any signs of nerves here with Jeff Curl. If anything, I think he's been a little bit too excited, a little adrenaline going. He's hit it over some greens or just in the wrong spots, but he's made some very nice putts of this length, and his body language would not suggest that he's really feeling nervous. Maybe just a little bit outside of his comfort zone, though. He stroke some nice ones in like that. Well, it's the Tom Watson of old, remember? He was very bold, very aggressive with the, the lengthy putts, he, but he was confident he would make the five-footers coming back. Once you start missing those, you get uh, a little more tentative. Now Gargan to match. Uh, Matthew takes a fair amount more time on these short ones than we see Jeff Curl, but he's handled them all nicely so far. Yeah. So, more par saves here on Saturday as the conditions get a little quicker and the nerves may be a little shorter. Matthew Goggin leads by one over Wee Kim. Two shots over Jeff Curl in the third round of the Cleveland Open. On the tee at 17, Wee Kim. He's got a uh, hybrid like four wood out, smart play because he has not driven the ball. He, this one is headed down the right side. Should be what well, should turn out all right. Yeah, it's actually landed on the down slope. That's amazing how far he's hit that. That's 300 yards down to that 150 yard plate we see in the middle right, of the fairway. Hazard down the right. Guys have hit hybrid off this tee and kept up it up on the very top level of the fairway. Go back to the tee at the 16th. Would you rather be on this one? Uh, Just below it to the right? Yeah. It is down? Oh, yeah, man. This whole plane's short right now. You know, it is warmer right now than it's been all week. Yeah, it's. I don't see any reason to play longer than 150 yards. All the balls I saw earlier in the day just kind of got all the way back there. Right to left? Yeah, right to left. A little breeze at the back, and as I mentioned, with the warmer temperatures, the ball tends to go quite a bit further as well. And to take that into account, does conditions change? And what they are not privy to, and I like the discussion, is that this green has really firmed up. So he's trying to land this about eight yards short of the flag. Should be just spot on. It's going to come back a little bit. We've had some fireworks at 16 over the last couple of days. Back to the first round on Thursday. It was Justin Lauer. Ball playing 156 on Thursday. Yeah, it was receptive. You know, that we've talked about the rain. Flew it all the way flag. And huge uproar from the gallery. Now Goggin, he's away at 16. And he's lofted this well up into the air. And so that ball doesn't get the bounce. So Matthew Goggin coming off that great round yesterday, a course record 62 on Friday. One shot lead on Saturday. 
Hey, radio DJ Alan Freed coined the term rock and roll right here in Cleveland, and thus the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on the shores of Lake Erie. And if you're going to have a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you're going to have the Who. Inducted in 1990, Pete Townsend, Roger Daltrey, John M. Twistle, Keith Moon. Part of the museum and the displays at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame downtown in Cleveland. A look across the pond at 16, Matthew Goggin, your leader by one. He's Help. a very popular man. Helps the scorecard and <laughs> helps the spectators. It's getting a little warm out there. Just stay hydrated. I think he's saying and either have one on me or give one to me. And also a two-shot lead. He's putted beautifully today. Really had some wonderful saves. And this one was just poured in the center. And that's for you folks. Poured in the center? Poured. I see what you did there. Yeah, you got it. Now you're fast today. So now it's a two-shot lead. Four birdies, no bogeys today for Matthew Goggin. Jeff Curl, one bogey on his card, two birdies. And a very dangerous putt, this one. He's been running a lot of his putts by. He's just seen his fellow competitor knock his in for a two. He wants to make his for a two. Fast putt swinging to the right considerably. Phil, it always seems like he's he's just watching Matty Goggin do great things, and he's it, it's nearly forcing his issue a little bit. And, and on this one, as you've just mentioned, you can't do that. You've just got to hope it just drops in the front door. You certainly don't want to play your round of golf responding to someone else, do you? Yes, sir. <laughs> what a pot. How about that for a couple twos? And from the last group of the day, you know, plenty of time. Nice touch there, too, from Jeff. Very respectful for...